What do you do with a nature journal? Well, these are for recording observations about what you see, smell, feel, hear, and even taste when you are outside. A nature journal is a place to keep track of stuff, about your experiences outside, what you notice, what those things remind you of, questions that you might have, and how you feel about it all, because your feelings are important observations too. Nature journals can look many different ways, but any notebook or even stapled together sheets of paper will work. The important part is that you keep all the observations you've recorded in one place, so you can flip through all this really important information over days, weeks, or yes, even years, and look for patterns. So adding a date to each entry is key. People have been keeping nature journals for hundreds of years. And some of them, like those of Galileo and Sir Isaac Newton, for example, have led to incredible scientific discoveries. And scientists that are still at work today, like Jane Goodall, who has studied chimpanzees for decades, also record observations in their journals. Artist and author Beatrix Potter, who wrote The Tale of Peter Rabbit, got the idea for this story as she observed wild rabbits in her yard and made drawings and paintings of them in her nature journal. Recording observations with your drawings in a more accurate way is a real skill that you can learn. John Muir Laws, the grandson of famous naturalist and nature journaler, John Muir, wrote a beautiful book that teaches you step by step how to do this. And he has a free version of this available. I'll include the link to that for you to download in the video notes. I have other good news for you. You don't have to go far at all to find nature. Tilt your head back, look up, and if you can see some open sky up there, you have found nature. You're there, you've arrived. Who knows what amazing creative ideas and discoveries your nature journal might lead to. I'll keep posting videos to this YouTube channel with activities and ideas for ways to use your nature journal. I hope you have fun with them and make all sorts of amazing discoveries and observations in your very own backyard and neighborhood. Bye.